Hi, my name is Jim Mullaney from SciTech Process Solutions. Today is uh, Wednesday, um, October 20th, 2021. Today I'm doing a video sourcing section on a re, uh, refurbished uh, semi-tool uh, 270S. Uh, this video we put on our YouTube channel and a link will be sent to our customers so we don't give their name out in our videos. However, this PO number is 2020-3101. And this system is going to uh, Europe. Uh, this customer actually uh, purchased, this is the third system uh, of the order. Uh, they are a repeat customer of ours who uh, buys a, a lot of parts and, and so forth. Um, so today what I'm going to do, it's gone through our complete remanufacturing process. The customer bought a, a, a system from us. We shipped that. They pulled, then they could pull their system out. We sent one back, we refurbished it already, sent it back. Now they pulled out this one, which is the, the third of total altogether. And we're going to get ready to send it back. Uh, what I'll do is go ahead and start the process and talk about a remanufacturing process and about SciTech process solutions. So the system has been fully refurbished, remanufactured. This customer runs 4 inch 100 millimeter wafers. You simply load it and press start. Okay. It'll, uh, we're running a traditional process. It'll be a rinse, a purge, which uh, blows the water out of the air lines. Uh, excuse me, the air blows the water out of the DI line. And then we'll have a high speed uh, dry one and a low speed dry two. It's a very typical process in the semiconductor industry. Uh, real quick, as you can see, our final test area, we are really busy. All these tools are uh, finishing up for uh, final test. We hope uh, most of these should all be shipped out uh, by Friday, early next week. Uh, but we have a, a lot of tools that uh, we're working on right now. And we have a huge backlog. Um, uh, we are the number one remanufacturer in the world of semi-tool spinner and dryers. Uh, with our state-of-the-art slick device upgrade, which you can see over here. This is our slick device upgrade. It makes, oh, I just I went hit into the um, alarm screen. Uh, makes any system uh, better than what you can get on a new rinser dryer purchased in any market. This customer opted to stick with their 102s because they already had these controllers, so we left those the same. Right now we're in the high speed uh, dry. What that does, we're running at 1600 RPM. It slings the water off the cassette, the rotor, and the wafers, and then what we'll do, we'll go through a elongated dry two, which will drop down to uh, between five and 600 RPM. And then we use uh, centrifugal force, bowl heaters, and hot nitrogen to dry. So to talk about our remanufacturing process at SciTech, we remanufacture our customer's tool just like we build them from ourselves. In this case, a customer sends a tool in. The first thing we do is we evaluate to find out the condition of it and if there's any broken parts, broken or missing parts. We then break it all the way down to the base uh, platform and we start the reprocessing. We have our own in-house reprocessing of the bowl we do. Uh, every, all the metal parts are sent out for electropolishing. We then go through all of the uh, door seals, the heaters, the heater blankets, windows. Uh, we rebuild the motors, uh, the rotor stop positioners. Um, we have a, uh, I won't go in detail, but for our customers, they get a full remanufacturing spec of what's replaced automatically new and what is checked out and rebuilt and replaced if necessary. During that re, uh, rebuild process, it's in our dry manufacturing area. We rebuild the head up. It comes uh, kind of like this. Uh, and uh, after it's uh, built up, you can see there's no poly, there's no, um, um, there's no frame or anything. Uh, we do a, a dry QC out in final test. Uh, once the system passes dry QC, it comes into wet QC. This is where we uh, put the water on. We uh, make sure all the uh, valving's good, make sure all the fittings are good. We go through extensive DI testing. We have another QC here in DI testing. Once it passes that, it gets put into its configuration in case this would be a, a tabletop unit with its poly. It goes through a complete burn-in, approximately 50 process runs for quality control. If there's any issues, do we go ahead and uh, re, uh, fix those during the burn-in process? And then uh, this uh, tool is um, uh, given to sales for a video. So we have a super extensive uh, breakdown process, uh, a review process, uh, rebuild process, and quality control process. On this system, a good example, this is a, a, a six inch tool, but it will only run in four inch. We have 100% spare parts. We can supply you the controller. We can supply the door seal, the window, the heater blankets, uh, the motors, uh, the servo lamps. Uh, anything and everything on this system right here, we can supply 100% brand new. We are the uh, premier uh, parts reseller um, in the world. Uh, we believe uh, we're the biggest non-OEM uh, parts supplier uh, across uh, the whole semi-tool product line of spinner and dryers. So if you go to our website and you're curious about our, uh, our tools, you go to scitechprocess.com. On the left-hand side, you'll see a bunch of buttons. The first uh, seven are all semi-tool related. 
We have the S model, this is Sam. The F model is in Frank, which is this. <coughs> Looks almost the same, but it uses a brush motor. Um, we also have the ST, the traditional STs, which we don't have any of those in test right now. Then the next three buttons are all the spare parts. We have 100% spare parts on all the tools, and we have 100% uh, uh, repair capability. We can repair your controllers. We can play your servo amps. You can send us your motors in. Uh, you can send us in valving if you want those repaired. Uh, we have a complete extensive uh, rebuild uh, uh, department. And when, during our rebuild, we go through the same quality control testing like we do on a tool going, uh, being sold out of stock. Um, the next button down, we also have some uh, spares on, not in depth, but what we have in stock of the semi-tool SST and SATs. Uh, those are the acid and solvent processors. The next button down is all Vertec. We, uh, in 2018, uh, SciTech purchased the Vertec product line. We are now the OEM for all of the Vertex spinners, dryers. We have all the spare parts, controller repairs. We sell systems out of inventory now. Any given day, I think we have probably, I don't know, 40, 40 rinser dryers in stock to be rebuilt. Uh, six inch, three inch, eight inch, double stack, single stack, all configurations. Okay, we have about a minute left on this. At the end of this process, what happens is called the RSP, rotor stop positioner. It's back behind uh, the motor. It actually has a cylinder that will, will shoot out uh, it'll, roll, it'll roll against the cam assembly. It finds a flat that's, um, that will upright we call home position, which is 12 o'clock. When, um, when that happens, I'll be able to hear the door release and be able to open it. See the door sealed now? I can, when it's released, I'll be able to open it out, take the cassette out, and make sure it feels for hot end too, and uh, everything dry. We have about 75 seconds. Um, we also uh, are a remanufacturer of uh, a lot of other front end wafer process tools. The Floor Wear Integris Box Washer, we're the number one remanufacturer uh, re of that system. We have a ton of spare parts on our, on our system. We have hubs, we have uh, the spray nozzles, we have the PLCs, we have the heaters, uh, we have filter assemblies, we have a lot of stuff. You can go look under uh, our box washer. The same thing with the uh, high pressure um, mask and wafer cleaners, the Ultratech, Ultra T, K and S. Um, so we round ourselves out with wet, uh, DI processing, rinser dryers, mask and wafer scrubbers, and cassette and box washers. All right, wait the last 30 seconds and I'll talk about the rest of our uh, capabilities. System looks brand new, like it should. Uh, we have in-house our own poly shop. We do our own uh, poly. If a customer sends a system in that the poly is not looking good, uh, part of our proposal is we'll replace that. And any system we sell has to look 95% like new and run 100% by new. It's our quality standards and it's unsurpassed. All right, we're down to two seconds. <clears throat> okay, we're spinning down quickly. I just heard it okay. RSP uprighted. I just heard the door open or uh, the seal release. This customer has a special door lock that they installed, which has a, a mechanical door lock down below. Nice and warm there, yep. Wafers are nice and warm. Everything looks great. Okay. So, uh, talking about our other products. We do quite a lot of photo resist. We do vapor prime ovens, the YES vapor prime. We have Millipore, Cyborg, IDI controllers. We have customers send us around the world um, uh, photo resist uh, controllers and pumps to rebuild for them. Uh, we also sell from stock all those uh, brands I just told you. We do some uh, metrology, KLA, 10-core tools. We do fi uh, thin film measurement systems. We do particle counters. We just shipped uh, 4,500, and we're rebuilding we're another one right now. We do nanometrics tools, prometric systems, um, and um, uh, a lot of the other thin film measurement tools. I'm trying to think in our inventory what we have. We do a lot of high and low uh, power microscopes. We have Nikon, lights, uh, and so forth. Um, if you go on our website, we probably have, uh, I'm guessing, 20 in stock right now of the microscopes. We also have small bench top, uh, Brewer Science, uh, CE um, uh, wafer coders. I know we have one of those in stock. We do some of the uh, flatness measurement systems. Um, uh, that would be the, um, the uh, Frontier uh, type system. So we round ourselves out uh, quite uh, nicely in the front end wafer processing. We are a front end wafer processing company. So that will conclude my simple uh, video source inspection of a fully refurbished customer's Semi-Tool 270S with a 102 controller. This video today will be compiled, sent up to our YouTube channel. I'll send a link off to our customer in Europe for them to accept this. Uh, upon acceptance, it takes about two days for the crating to happen, and we'll get it shipped out. If there's any questions, you can feel free to go to anywhere on our website and click on Contact Sales. That'll send an email to our sales department. Every single uh, page 
Every product on our website has that uh, button. You can also call us at 916-797-9000 and ask for anyone in our sales department. Again, my name is Jim Mullaney from SciTech Process Solutions. Today is Wednesday, October 20th, 2021. Hope everyone has a great uh, winter. Thank you.